David, what symbol of love and faithfulness do you offer to the Lord? David, please repeat after me. Lord, I give you this ring as a sign of my vows to you. With all that I am, and all that I have, I honor you in the name of the Father, and of the Son. Lord, what symbol of love and faithfulness do you offer to David? Lord, please repeat after me. David, I give you this ring as a sign of my vows to you. With all that I am, and all that I have, I honor you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. David, Lord, I'd like to leave you with one final blessing. And the final blessing comes from 1 Corinthians 2.9. And the verse reads like this, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived, but God has planned for those who love him. That's a promise to both of you from God Almighty. No matter what you've dreamt of, imagine. It's nothing compared to what God has planned for you through. God will never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He's faithful. Always. His love never fails. So trust in Him. Lean on Him. And He will lead you to achieve dreams far beyond anything you've dreamt of hope for, or even imagine. So Lauren, David, you have declared before God and before these witnesses that you will live together in marriage. You have made sacred promises to each other. You have symbolized those promises by joining hands and by the exchanging of rings. So then, it is my great honor and pleasure as an ordained minister to pronounce you husband and wife, what God has joined together, let no person tear apart. David, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> privilege to present to you for the very first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Roberts. They will join you in the dining room for dinner later this evening. So at this time, please make your way towards the front entrance for refreshments. Usher's walls begin next to the rows, starting at the back, going out. Thank you. 
Thank you. 